Hey, Rachel. Hi, baby. All right, we're going to swing them around Hi, this way. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. So this is Buck. He's a mini horse, as you can see. He's pretty oh. tiny, right? <laughs> Oh, I have a friend, Jamie. She raises miniature horses. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. So beautiful. So, so cute. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're drooling on me. <laughs> You're drooling on me. So he's only going to get to be, this is Buck, like I said, he's only going to get to be maybe three and a half feet tall. That's as big as they That's get. That's okay. I'm short too. And, you know, horses, of course, are a domesticated animal. We have been relying on horses for, you know, riding and farming for, you know, centuries. And, some and people use them as um, therapy animals too, don't they? Exactly. That's what I was just going to say. Mm -hmm. These guys can live to be about 30 years old, much longer than a dog, right? Much so, longer. Yeah. And uh, big horses can live to be 50. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, if you're going to train an animal to be a therapy uh, animal for someone for life, you know, the longer they live, the better. And so horses are very intelligent. Let me see if I can scoot him around a little bit so <laughs> everyone's not seeing his butt. Um, Your butt's adorable. <laughs> I'm going to cross over here, cute. too. You want to snack them. Horses are very intelligent. They can be trained to be excellent, you know, therapy animals, companion animals. Um, they're, you know, can be as smart as a dog in some cases. But yeah, we have bred horses uh -huh. to be huge, you know, right. giant Clydesdales. All the way down to these little mini guys. They're and so cute. Yeah, but of course, you know, people like to get these guys as pets. If you're gonna do that, you just have to make sure you got room. You have room. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want to have this guy obviously in, uh, you know, in an apartment. In an apartment. <laughs> you need, <laughs> like, with any animal, any pet that you get, you want to make sure that you have the appropriate setup. You gotta order shake it out. You to keep them happy it. and healthy. Okay. 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 <laughs> Is that enough? Is that enough? You have pretty eyelashes. He sure does, doesn't he? Yes, he does. <laughs> All right, why don't we bring out You're our next beauty. animal, because we've got a couple other really cute ones to get to here. Come hey, on, buddy. This next one is the one we're supposed to be quiet for, right? Yeah, a little bit quiet, because this is actually a wild animal. Okay. Um, so oh. this is my friend Jamie here. She Hi, Jamie. has a baby munt jack deer. So oh. see how tiny it is? Did you ever know that a deer could be this small? No, yeah. I did not. So we tend to think of white-tailed deer or moose or elk that I'm we have. I'm from upstate New York. We have tons of deer in my backyard. Right. Yeah. And so this is a species of deer that lives in India and across southern Asia. Look and at these little things, sockets by its eyes. So they have a musk gland, and it's something that they use as a form of communication. They will rub <laughs> that. <laughs> So cute, right? <laughs> so she'll get a little bit bigger, but they only get to be maybe about two feet tall and only about 25 to maybe 50 pounds at full so growth. Now, if she were a boy, you can gently reach out and see if she'll, she'll sniff How you there. How old is she? She's um, just a few months old, yeah. She's a baby. So, is her mom close? Yes, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. She's, <laughs> Jamie is her surrogate mom here, and, and, which is why Jamie's holding her, because I'm a big, scary person. But, <laughs> but at any rate, these guys, um, like most deers, the males will grow antlers, but they also will grow big canine fangs. Shut up. So this is another thing that most people have no idea about. There, there are deer in the world that have big they fangs. They have big fangs? And they use them. And a them, little dude? Yes, and they use them to eat other animals. Oh. So most deer are most actually. Most deer are herbivores. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And they are, they do eat a lot of plant material, but they oh. supplement that in the jungles where they live whoop, with. Okay. Apparently, they, they have a keto diet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, they eat a little bit of protein on the side. And with the males, oh, look at their they'll, actually, the they'll actually use those fangs in order to catch some prey. Oh, honey. Yeah, we're good. Okay, okay. we're going to send her upset. back. Yeah. The next animal like is another domesticated animal. And if you're comfortable, I'll let you hold her. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> come on in, come on in. This is the happiest <laughs> animal segment. I prepared the audience for, for mayhem. This all oh, do you, do you want to hold? Sure. All right, so this hey. is a mini goat. Hi, baby. Hello. Just want to support it. Hello. Support her backside I here. I have some crackers. Do you have some cheese? <laughs> there we go. So <laughs> just like the horse, this is a domesticated goat. Goats are even older in terms of domestication than horses are. One of the first animals that people, human beings, actually domesticated descended from a wild Asian goat up in the mountains. <laughs> and goats also make incredible companion animals, too. Oh. Um, you know, they give us goat milk and they give us goat cheese, and that's delicious. But you know, these guys are becoming kind of popular in, in you know, goat yoga, pets. baby. It's where goat, it's at. This is the kind of goat that happened that they use in that goat yoga. That they use for goat yoga. They don't get too much bigger than this. Again, maybe about two feet tall. 